can't touch this. Yeah, so each kid will get two. Well, no. Ooh, each kid will get one, and then mommy will get two. Oh, they're solid. I think a dollar. Oh, it was three bucks. Whoa, I really broke the bank with him. Ugh. No. Tell me down below, are you a fan of licorice jelly beans? No one is, okay? You're the only one. <laughs> you and my dad. The wads. Hello, people. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the innards, the insides of my kids' Easter baskets. I have three kiddos, ages, uh, let me get this right, seven, four, and one. Yes. And uh, yeah, all right, two girls, one boy. The boy is the youngest. I got them too much. I was going through everything I got them and I was like, this is too much. So I put some stuff away. I'm gonna return some stuff. Yay for me, gonna get some money back. First, I'm going to show you the outfits that I picked out for us. I don't, we don't do Easter like super big, but I always like to take a family photo. I like to kind of color coordinate. This year, I think we're like pretty close. I always do it for the kids, but this year, I think Alex and I are gonna get in on the action as well. So I'll show you that and then I'll show you everything that I got. Uh, for the kids, I'm just gonna lay it out on my bed. I'm trying to do it a little bit discreet here. I'm gonna lay it on my bed and we're gonna go through it. So here we okay, go. Okay, so here are the outfits. Maybe there's too much blue, I don't know. A part of me is like, get purple. I couldn't find anything purple, purple and black, that kind of scheme. Uh, but this is the outfit that made it all happen because it's always hard for me to find like a boy outfit that's cute and comfortable. A lot of boy outfits are like super stiff and I'm like, I wouldn't wanna sit in that. Like I'm not gonna make my baby sit in that. You know what I mean, do you feel me? So I found this at Target. Um, it was probably way too much money, but whatever. I looked everywhere. I looked at baby consignment stores. Tar Target never fails me, you know what I mean? So here's the front. I think this is what got me that cute little sweater vest thing. And then this, Alex is not too keen on the pink, but I don't care, and they're shorts. And then it comes with a little cute onesie like that. Oh my gosh, that pocket square. I couldn't find bow ties anywhere. Nothing, ha well, you know what? Some stuff did have bow ties and I almost got it, but the pants were like bright, bright coral. And I was like, what am I gonna match with that? Anyway, so matching will be Eleanor over here. Look at this cute little top. And then she has uh, jean capris. Well, they're like jean, they're not jean, but they're like, you know, the soft, they look like jeans, <laughs> that's what I'm getting at. And um, these will be really cute. I love the detail on the side, this little like feather fan out, whatever that's called, the sleeve. And then side note, this little uh, dinosaur top. Oh my gosh, I was dying over that, it was so cute. I almost got outfits that matched that. Anyway, but I didn't, I went with this instead. And matching Eleanor, speaking of matching, um, I will be matching Eleanor. Look at these sleeves, what? Like they, this was all, all at Target. I got all of this stuff at Target. After I spent an hour and a half at the baby consignment store finding matching outfits, I was like, no, these are way cuter. I'm going with these. Um, and plus they're less uh, fancy. At baby consignment store, I could show you what I got there, but then this video would be way too long. But um, I got them really fancy dresses, and I was like, you know what, that's just not us. Let's be comfortable, let's be casual and fun, you know what I mean? So I got this, oh my gosh, even though it looks like a cutoff shirt, if I'm wearing mom jeans, it does not show any belly, Hell, and I got a size up. So just <laughs> for good measure, and it does fit me, well, I think it's a little big, but whatever. And then for Alex, I got these uh, shorts, he, he needs new shorts anyway. And then, uh, he's, getting, he's, he's getting a little bigger. He needs, he needs some clothes that fit him. And then this, isn't this so adorable? Avelina is not so into it. It's a romper. Oh my gosh, so cute. Get one in my size, except for not, because who wants to go to the bathroom in a romper? Not me. Um, it's so adorable, but she is like, can I wear the dress? She wants the fancy dress, but look at this bow detail. So stinging cute. And then again, with like the flare sleeves. But I just thought, I love the fact that like, Mom and daughter can, I mean, it's not the same exact color pink, but it's pretty darn close. All right, so hopefully we're all gonna look super cute in our semi-matching outfits. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me pull all this crap out that I got them. Okay, so I set it up on the floor just because everything was falling off my bed. So we're gonna start with Avelina, Eleanor, and then Wentworth. First of all, let me just show you. I'm gonna open these up and then sprinkle them in each of their baskets. These are just stretchy bunnies, got them from Target. I think I got all three of these from Target. The good chocolate, mm, yeah, so each kid will get two. Well, no, ooh, each kid will get one, and then mommy will get two. <laughs> and then 
the crappy chocolate uh, in the shape of a carrot. Who knows? I don't know. That was from Target as well. This was um, a dollar. And then this stuff was like, uh, way a hundred dollars. The good chocolate. It's worth it. Okay. So first for Avelina, I got them each rain boots. Aren't they so stinking cute? I saw a picture on Pinterest that was like, instead of an Easter basket, use rain boots. But then not much fits in rain boots. <laughs> I guess that would work if you're not getting a bunch. And then for poor Wentworth, like nothing, I mean, if your kid has big enough feet, like nothing could really fit in it. You know what I mean? I digress. Okay, so I got some rain boots. These were secondhand. Okay, sorry, I had to stop filming for a second because the kids wanted to come in. I was like, ah, wait a minute, go look at that cool thing. Okay, so I got rain boots from a consignment store secondhand. Rather than spending how much are brain, brand new brand new rain boots at Target. 20 bucks at least. Let me take this bracelet off. It's really loud and annoying. Okay. So I saved more than half because I think these were $8 a piece. And then I think Wentworths were a little bit cheaper because they're, I don't, I don't know the reasoning. I don't know, you know, how they do their pricing, but yeah. So I thought that was a great deal. And Florida pretty much rains every day. <laughs> Avelina used to live in her rain boots. Plus we have a garden now, which is super exciting. And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, let, kids, let's go outside and play and whatever. Short story long, rain boots. And then she has a chocolate, a Hershey chocolate. And you know what got me on these? Cause I was about to buy the really expensive Ghirardelli or Lindt chocolate, whatever. But the princess bunny. <laughs> I was like, that is hilarious. It totally got me marketing uh, for sure. So, oh, it's a princess bunny, so adorable. So of course I had to get that. And Alex thinks Hershey's is the best chocolate in the world. Agree to disagree, but whatever. Um, okay, about the candy. There's a little bit of candy. Well, actually a lot bit of candy because I know my kids are gonna want a piece of everything the moment they open it. But when I was a kid, I only got candy. And I think they have a very good variation of treats here and necessities, boots, shoes, whatever. Um, cotton candy. I couldn't resist this too. Look at this like bunny. Oh my gosh, it was just so adorable. I couldn't pass it up. So cute. And then of course, Reese's Pieces in the shape of a carrot. Who can say no to that? Not me. And then um, if you guys saw my Target haul, I'll link that. I got this, can't touch this, still love it. I still love it just as much. And then inside is a little coloring book. Got these from the dollar spot, $3 for this one, $3 for this one, so six bucks. And then I have crayons and markers and all that kind of stuff for them. Obviously, I'm a mom. Uh, if you have kids, you probably have a surplus of the same kind of stuff. And this is great for travel in the car. Keep them busy, right? Got some jelly beans. I tried to look for the... Um, what was the bamboozled, that whole thing? Was that going around? Uh, yeah, I tried to look for those, but I couldn't. This whole, this pack was a dollar. What a jip, but whatever. My kid's like, I was like, it's not Easter without jelly beans, but no licorice, okay? Tell me down below, are you a fan of licorice jelly beans? No one is, okay? You're the only one. <laughs> you and my dad. My dad likes them, but other than that, no one else on the planet. Okay. I got this secret message kit. I thought Avelina would just find this adorable. It was $3 at the Target dollar spot. She's really into that stuff. And then I got a little painting uh, canvas. It comes with paint and stickers, paintbrush, it's fun. And then a little book for her. I always try to incorporate reading or something in the Easter basket. So there we go. And I got that secondhand. I did not spend, uh, it was $2.50. I did not uh, pay for full price for that. And then instead of Easter grass, ugh, no. Does anyone do Easter grass? I stinking do not like the stuff. I use tissue paper instead or just nothing. Who needs it, right? <laughs> My kids like, it ends up all over the house and then I have to pick it up and then I have to worry about the baby eating it. It's just not a good thing. So moving on to Eleanor, pretty much the same stuff, little variation. Aren't these cute? The little, uh, oh, if I can show you, the little uh, kitty cat. Is that a scuff or can I clean that? I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, same kind of thing, chocolate, the, um, what is that? cotton candy, the Reese's Pieces, and then this totally 100% unicorn. She, <laughs> she, she's gonna love that. She loves candy. Uh, whatever, that's not candy, that's popsicle. Like ice cream, whatevs. And then a little coloring book inside, same kind of spiel. For her, I got some tic-tac-toe. This was $3 at the dollar spot as well. I got obsessed because, guys, they had a ton of cool stuff there. Uh, another jelly bean mix. Uh, what is this? A canvas print unicorn, same kind, because I don't want them arguing about, I wanted that one, and then whatever, it's happened before. And then I got this for her. It is a book, but it's a puzzle book. 
So I think it has uh, five puzzles inside. She is so into puzzles lately. She wants to do them all the time. So I thought that would be great for her. And then moving on to little Wentworth over here. Guys, <laughs> I'm dying. Look at these cute little, little things. I am so not into like boy stuff. Look how small those are too. Oh guys, it's getting me. But I like, I'm starting to love boy stuff. I got him a little hat. This is at the Target dollar spot. It's huge on him, but that's okay. He'll, he'll grow into it, right? It's, it's inevitable. Um, how much was this? I don't even know. I think a dollar. Oh, it was three bucks. Whoa, I really broke the bank with him. Okay, and then I got him some Reese's Pieces, but who's gonna eat them? Not him. Well, maybe he'll have a couple if he's lucky. And then I got these. I just thought these were really cute. Something for us to play animals with. I don't know, a little barn seemed like a good boy thing. And then some sunglasses, needed some boyish sunglasses because ugh, poor third child uh, and two older sisters, no boy things. Bath, uh, I was about to say bath balms. I got bath balms last year for the kids for Easter. That's a great addition too. Uh, but this year, no such luck. Um, okay, two little books in here and they're, oh, do they make noise? They do make noise. I almost forgot about that. One's colors, one's numbers, both great fun. And then an Easter bunny and this is a prince. <gasps> Wait, did I get the, no, that's a princess. Where's the prince? Oh, ho, ho, almost made a mistake. You see, speedy bunny. Oh, so he's not even a prince. He's just fast running through the forest. What is he, what's this bunny up to? Why is he, you know, running out of time? Why is he so speedy? What's that? What's the bunny in the, um, the white rabbit, what's that called? Alice, Alice in the Looking Glass? Alice, Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Anyway, what I was getting at is he's late. He's late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. He's late, he's late, he's late. That's why he's so speedy. Okay, and then this poor basket doesn't match anything. I used to have matching baskets for all the kids and then, eh, who needs it? So um, I did not buy a new basket for Wentworth. These are like four years old and this basket is like seven years old. I've had it since Avelina was a little taut and that's it for him. Oh, except for he's not gonna eat this, but uh, yours truly will because why not? Are these hollow or solid? Oh, they're solid. Yes, more chocolate, okay. All right, so that is everything that I got the kids for Easter and holy cow, way too much. I think I overdid it, as per the huge. I just can't help myself. Everything in the store is like so stinking cute. And then I go online and I'm like, oh, I wanna buy this and this and this for them. I almost added bathing suits to their Easter baskets. And then I thought, you know what, Kim, calm down. Put the brakes on, cause it's not that important. You know what I mean? How do you guys celebrate Easter? Show me down below. Easter baskets are not the reason for the season, of course, but it's just, I don't even really understand the tradition behind it. I mean, I've read up on it, I know it, but I don't understand it, like, whatever. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.